I'll stop on my tour of Fetford, Fetford Priory. So the Cluniac Priory of the Our Lady of Fetford, founded in the early 12th century. Holy moly. This is massive. Wasn't expecting this. Um, whilst I always get, I'm impressed by the kind of scale of something like this, it's the details that I love. So it's that sort of um, finishing. Now I'm assuming some sort of uh, drainage um, point. There's some other larger holes along the edge here because they often have raised floors and then heated underneath in there. Uh, I'm partly filming from here because I'm in the shade. It is very, very hot here. Just going quickly back again to details. Um, might not be possible in the video, but there's a slight slope towards where I'm standing. So in other words, everything in front of me has some slightly higher grounds. If you come back into the shade, you can see what looks like, I assume, is a, like a drainage channel. I know there's a river or something in, in that direction. But you can almost see where they design everything to come out down here. Another boring detail, nature finds a way. So there's trees, roots, and then there's a root has found its way over this little bit of brickwork, whereas that one's come underneath it. Now I'm coming to this bit, but I don't quite, this looks more modern. Don't quite understand what that is. Apparently that's a lodging building, or was. Um, it looks a bit weird because it's got lots of different aged parts. So the two arches in the middle, let's see if I can zoom in a bit, those two arches are 12th century. But then everything else is different ages. And then this is the main part of the priory. And as notes, there's a buttery. Uh, later, the kitchen. So where I'm looking at now is the kitchen area. I'm just going to go into into. I use that carefully. The lodgings. Just a quick look inside. So two story. Um, like modern beams holding up the window, so obviously it needs to be renovated. Hi, latrines. Is that just me? Right, this is a rear view of those two arches. Very thin. Why do they make it so thin? Distinct courtyard there, nicely uh, looked after, manicured. Could almost be uh, doing bowls there, bowls there. And then this very much looks like the nave of a church, so with the column footings or what's left of them. And then, and then looking down towards the altar, it clearly looks like an altar at the end there. Right, let's have a walk up to the altar. Alright, that little note says nave altar. So 
so it looks, uh, it's quite a lot of covering stones. So you have the, the basic building material and then the facing stones. So there's quite a few left here. And then, I don't really want to get underneath this because that looks like it will fall to me. Anyway, there's a little note here. Plus it's the shade. Get in the shade. The tomb of Thomas Howard, Duke of Norfolk, Victor, Norfolk Victor of Floddenfield, 1513. He died in 1524. Getting in the way, um, that's an impression of what it would have looked like, like in the 1530s. So, at the altar to the right, and then the um, choir. So the choir bit was here and then there's the altar up there and I assume past the small altar was where the lower <laughs> lower order people for want of a better word sat so highly recommend coming here you could, if you were interested in the architecture and how they built things, the detail, there is so much to see. Um, this is apparently is a lady chapel. So there's a chapel on this side, but there isn't, I don't think, no, there isn't a corresponding one. See how high that went. So this thing would have been bloody enormous.